Hello, hello, hello. I'm so glad to be here today. We have Miss Angela on. She's going to be taking the time to share her testimony. I just want to say thank you, you know, for taking the time to actually share it, you know, so that other people can be inspired. Um, so just tell us a little bit about yourself, you know, tell the audience who you are, you know, where you're from. Hello, patients. Thank you very much for having me on today. My name is Angela Fastnet, and I am so appreciative of what you're doing for the body of Christ. I just wanna thank the Lord for being here today. So I am originally from Ghana, West Africa, and I moved to the United States in 1993. And you know, from there, I, I just have gone on a long journey with the Lord. I am married, okay. I have a son and a daughter, and I am also trained as a family medicine doctor. And so I have loved to teach people about living healthy lives. And I have, a, you know, when I was working in a busy clinic, I loved teaching people how to live healthfully and also explain to them what's happening if they're dealing with a specific illness. Okay. Um, and I know, you know, you had your own um, testimony there too with dealing with some illnesses. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. You know, how did that come along? What did you struggle with? Yes. So I worked in a busy clinic 2013, 2014. At the end of 2014, there was a really bad influenza season there. And so I had influenza and then second time influenza also in 2015. After that, I had a severe lupus flare up. So this flare up led to me developing so many health problems. Uh, before that, I had been diagnosed with lupus in 2008. After four years of having symptoms, the doctor referred me to a specialist and that's how I found out. But I had been really doing well until the 2015 influenza about. And so after that, I started having a lot of food sensitivities, a lot of pain in my body, just joint pain all the time, swelling in my face and all that. I even developed so much sensitivity to foods that I ended up being reduced to like eating only plantain, meat and butter. And so this was very challenging for me. I did not know what to do. And at that point, I, I just, looking back, I realized that my relationship with the Lord was not in a good place. So I started searching for ways to improve my relationship with the Lord and also finding natural things to help with my health. My specialist wanted to give me some more medication and I decided to not go that route for that time okay did you try out any natural things i did i did a lot a lot of supplements very expensive to, to take so many supplements when you have different things going on food sensitivities pain and wow. it was very expensive a lot of vitamins minerals herbs and i got to a point where when a lot of stuff wasn't working i realized that I really need to get closer to the Lord and just get, yes, get to know him more and receive from him. Wow. Almost sounds like, you know, when you think about it, the woman with the issue of blood, you know, like the Bible says she has spent so much money yes. and, you know, when you're not in good health is very expensive, you know, um, the Bible says she had literally went to all these different doctors, searched everywhere, paid all these people and she was still bound. Um, yes. It almost kind of sounds like that. So how did you stumble upon, you know, um, us? You know, how did you find us? Yeah, so uh, in my searching, I came upon videos from Deep Believer. I mm -hmm. got to her channel, somehow it just came up on my feed mm -hmm. on YouTube. And one day I was scrolling through and your testimony came up and I watched it and I thought, wow, I can really identify with you because we're coming from the same region of the world. And I see that you have such a strong relationship with the Lord. So 
right away after your testimony, I decided to go onto your YouTube channel and I just watched the videos like back to back to back. And I was really amazed and just my, it struck me, my, my heart, that I need to develop a closer relationship with the Lord. And so you, you suggest in your videos to contact your, your office. And I did that and I had an appointment with Teresa, who's one of your purpose development consultants. And I just really loved talking with her and she showed me about your programs. She told me all about what you're doing for the work of the ministry. And so I quickly just joined your mentorship group and I have found a lot of gems. I have to say jewels, gold, a lot of gold, diamonds. And I'm just so grateful for what you're doing, what your life and just everything. Yeah. Well, so when you found the mentorship, because I know a lot of times when people watch the videos, they're like, yes, I learn a lot. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of knowledge, there's a lot of wisdom from God. But then again, the scripture does say, you know, that uh, the, the, the the gospel really, it's not just in word, but it's in power. You know, you have to see the power of God behind it. So when you found the mentorship, were you expecting that to affect your health condition at all? Or were you just expecting maybe to learn a little bit more and get closer to God? I was just thinking, I mean, I did not expect to learn this much to the point where my soul, my heart, my body is receiving so much healing. I did not expect to grow this much at all. And it's it's just been a big transformation in my life. I've, I feel like I've had a lot of transformation. And so I just... I just realized that I have developed this new insight into how much God loves me. And because of that, because of receiving God's love and just basking in his love more and more, I have received a lot of healing for my soul because I had a lot of anxieties, fears, and disappointments. And I would say that so there was a certain point that I felt depressed, actually, if I'm being honest and anxious, a lot, a lot of fears. And a lot of that has just fallen away by learning that God loves me so much through the mentorship program and learning about his covenant with me and knowing that his provision, his protection for me is 100% guaranteed. I don't have to beg for anything. Because sometimes I, would, I was praying in the past and I would say, Lord, please help me, please. <laughs> but I've learned from your, your mentorship that it's illegal for me to be sick. <laughs> And I was like, what? So it's been like, a, there have been so many gems that I have received. And through your mentorship program, I'm learning that, you know, God has a lot for me and I just need to re receive, just rest in him and receive. And yeah. So, yeah, that, it's been great. Awesome. So prior to the mentorship, though, when you had that last flare up with the lupus, you weren't able to work for like years, right? They were like, a long time where you literally could not work. Yes, so I had to stop working because of that, because I just couldn't get out of bed. I was flat on my back, I couldn't work. I tried going back to work in the January of 2016, and that caused a worsening of my condition. And so I just had to stop. And that was what actually, a lot of that caused the fears and the anxieties and depressed mood because I was thinking I've spent a lot of money and, and how am I going to work you know pay back for all that I've spent so I had to stop working and learn more about my health find things to help me and that led me to finding your your channel Okay, well, it looks like you're not in bed right now. So it doesn't look like you're still in the situation anymore. So what happened? What happened between then and now? Yes. So I, I decree and declare, because you've taught us in our mentorship program to decree and declare healing on our bodies. And, you know, it's been a challenge to do that daily because it's a daily fight. Because even when I decide, okay, I'm decreeing on my health right now, and then something else would pop up, and I would continue with that. I just stand firm because I know what the word of God says. I keep on standing firm and keep on declaring the word, the word on my health and my life. 
And that's how I've seen a lot of the pain and the swelling and a lot of food sensitivities just disappear. I'm able now to actually eat different foods. I wasn't able to eat eggs, tomatoes, a number of things. Wow. And that has all resolved, you know. So I'm just looking forward to feeling back to where I was before 100%. I'm awesome. looking forward to that, yeah. So are you eating African foods again? I am. <laughs> <laughs> I am eating everything now. Patience, it's unbelievable. Like a year ago at this time, I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't eat a lot of things. I was eating plantain and beef and uh, butter. And now I'm able to, I can eat the, the what blows my mind a lot is eggs because I was reacting to eggs a lot. And and then like they call some foods nightshades, like tomatoes, okra, mm -hmm. you know, all those like peppers, none of that. And a lot of people who've had experience with lupus have sensitivities to nightshade foods. So the fact that I'm able to even do that, it blows my mind, you know, how good God is. So I, I always say my life is a testimony to the goodness of God. And then, yeah, sometimes, you know, I, when I think about it, I feel a bit like emotional. Yeah, I mean, cause I know for me, um, it would have it would have been really hard to not be able to eat African food. For those of you who guys who don't really know about African food, like it's almost impossible to eat African food and, and not be able to eat tomatoes because it's in like everything. Tomatoes, <laughs> you know? yeah. Like it's in everything. Like even our eggs, like everything. Um. So wow. So now you're able to go back to eating authentic African food again. Yes, I am. I am, and I don't have the fear anymore to eat because I developed fears about eating those foods and now i just approach everything with you know relaxation with peace i have so much peace it's incredible it's amazing awesome yeah. so what what would you say you know to somebody who's maybe watching this video right now um you know the new year has come in and yet here they are they're still struggling with that illness they're still struggling They've, been, they've done the same things you've done. They've gone to the doctors. They've spent all this money, and now they're sitting right where you are. What did you say? Yes. God is love, and God is good, and God really wants to teach you who he is and how much he has for you. I would say definitely, if you see this video, reach out to Patience Dean and her office reach out to them, reach out to patients. She is a lovely woman of God. And her name is actually, it's a really authentic, I should say, because you have so much patience and I see the lovely spirit that you have. Reach out to patients, let, let, people, let her know what you're going through. And you can talk with one of her purpose development consultants and they will lead you to the mentorship program so you can actually be established in the word of God because it's, it's God's word that brings healing. Definitely speaking God's word. You, you might think it's, it's just words in a, a book, but no, that's what I've learned. His word is healing. Yeah, definitely reach yeah. out to patients. Yeah. His word is alive, you know, and, and that's what we like to see here. Um, it's time out, you know, for the old school, uh, you hit three points, everybody spin around, go home, and still sit. So mm -hmm. It's time for us to really start seeing the power of God, you know, manifesting people's lives. Yes. So, you know, just like, um, and there's so many other people in the mentorship that, you know, just have gotten healed from so many different things. So if you're in that position right now, you've already spent your money, you've already gone to the doctor's, guys, call the number on the screen and get an appointment with one of our purpose development consultants. Okay. Okay. What does it hurt? If God can heal you, let him heal you. Okay, he's not going to charge you to heal you. <laughs> it's free. There are no side effects. I, I had side exactly. effects from supplements. Oh, I, I forgot about that one. The side effects. I was um, talking with one of my employees the other day. We were laughing. We were rolling. Because they had this lady. She did like a, a video where she was making fun of, you know, like the little medication videos. 
And it's just like the side effects sometimes is worse than what the actual disease can cause. I think exactly. it was one, there was this one where it's supposed to be like a thing where you can pull out your eyelashes, right? It's supposed to make your eyelashes longer, right? And then the, the side effect was you could be blind or possibly dying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wait a minute, hold up, wait, wait. <laughs> to get longer eyelashes? Are you <laughs> so that's what you really, you really don't think about in the kingdom of God. When God heals you, there's no side effects, okay? No. There's no side effects to healing. However, no. it is important, though, to be plugged into something like the mentorship so that you can know how to stay in the word. Because yes. remember, even when you get deliverance, the demons try to come back, right? So it's the yes. same thing for your healing. You have to yes. know how to be grounded in that word so that you can continue to maintain your healing as well exactly. um, so that they don't come back. And I think that's where it kind of all comes together. Not only will they see the healing and the deliverance, but it will be able to teach them how to actually, you know, be able to maintain that for the long term. And then go back and help some other friends and family members who may be struggling with the same issue and help them come out of that. Um, you know, we're we set free so we could go with other people. Oh, um, get set free. So I just want to say thank you so much, Angela, for taking time out of your day. I know it's very precious. Um thank, you. thank you and happy new year. <laughs> happy new year to you too. Awesome. I really appreciate this. Awesome. And then I'll see you, I guess, in the mentorship class um yeah. later on this week. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>